Hi, this is Scott Benjamin with Fun Spot Manufacturing, and you're listening to Tuesday Town Hall, the Adventure Park podcast. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, I have special guests, uh, Greg and Chris from Activate. Guys, welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Yep. Glad to be here. Yeah. So um, as, as we've really worked over the last six months plus to uh, bring uh, the Tuesday Town Hall and then the, uh, the Adventure Park podcast uh, to our listeners, uh, one of the things I've worked really hard on is, is creating um, a, a real good turnkey solution. And we've looked for vendor partners that we can add into that uh, turnkey solution that uh, we have a good and strong relationship with. And after evaluating uh, point of sale and booking softwares um, and meeting with Greg and, and Chris, we uh, have just decided that these guys have, have what it takes to really take uh, you know, the adventure park, the trampoline park and the FEC from a point of sale and booking software standpoint to the next level. And so just wanted to spend some time talking with you guys about that and how, you know, FunSpot customers and, and listeners to the podcast can take advantage of that. So appreciate you guys taking the time. Absolutely. We much appreciate the, uh, the opportunity to, to partner together and, and bring to your customers the, the great benefits that, that we offer in the software. So we're looking forward to, to sharing some of that today. That's great. Well, um, Greg or Chris, uh, we want to just give a kind of a high level, you know, I've said, you know, activate is a, a point of sale and booking software. Do you want to kind of high level anything uh, about the yeah. software from there before we kind of jump into some specific questions? Absolutely. So uh, our, our software was purpose built for the trampoline park industry. We're the first ones to have done that. Uh, obviously that fits more broadly to the family entertainment industry uh, because of the needs of, of this industry. It has grown from there. Um, we do everything from your point of sale, uh, ticketing, birthday parties, waiver management, uh, employee scheduling through to kitchen management and reporting and other features you need as a, as a park. Uh, you've got employee clock in, there's all the online for your customers, everything. It's an all in one solution. Uh, so it's a one-stop shop. You don't have to worry about going and, and working with three different companies. Uh, and you get it all in a modern interface that's, uh, delivered via the web. Uh, so it's an, an option, option for most parks to be able to very quickly and easily use uh, a modern software uh, built for their needs from the ground up. Yeah. And, you know, as a, as a former operator uh, for six or seven years uh, using a competitive product, um, when I saw Activate and saw the demo that you guys did, I, I, was, I was sold. Had I had a park still, <laughs> I, I would be signing up. That's the reason over already. That's the reason we're here. So, um, so that's, that's great. Um, well, so not, not only, you know, kind of in our turnkey process, do we want to be introducing you to people who are um, kind of interested in, in building a park for the first time, you know, the, the real big opportunity, I think, uh, for us and for our listeners is uh, people who are on a competitive point of sale system right now and, and what Activate could do possibly for them. So kind of the real big first question would be, you know, if I have an existing uh, competitive uh, ticketing point of sale, you know, why should I switch to activate? That's a great question. We love that question. Uh, it's the one that uh, that's the elephant in the room. Like, why am I going to take the time effort uh, to, to switch softwares? And the number one reason is because of your customers. Uh, your customers go through a process to purchase tickets online, to sign waivers online, uh, perhaps at a, at a waiver station in the store. Uh, and then they're going to come and check in and, and, and go through a process with your staff. We have just made that process easier. We've made it better from a customer perspective. Uh, one of the things I know resonated with you when, when you were seeing the demo was we're a account, an account-based system, uh, which means that once I have an account, everything ties automatically to that account and it makes the customer experience just a smoother, better process. Uh, and so you don't realize it as an operator that you think everything's just fine. You've been doing, doing it one way forever to realize that there's a better way to do it and a better way to give your customers that top notch experience. Uh, and that's what we offer. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and just to kind of add to that too, is um, we make it really easy for, um, for the staff too, to, to really understand it quickly. Um, most of the staff is you know, young people and they, you know, they're on YouTube and they're, they're all over the internet. Right. And so giving them something that they're used to seeing in terms of a, um, a user interface is, is really key for us. And we try to, to model after, you know, popular um, platforms that, uh, that they use every day. 
Yeah. So that, that, that resonated with me, you know, well, we, you know, in the past few weeks um, of episodes, we've talked about hiring, uh, recruiting, hiring and training uh, young people. And, you know, when it comes to the point of sale system, you know, current providers are, are quite clunky when it comes to training. There's a lot you have to think about and learn and process, whereas your interface uh, is very intuitive uh, because it's based on, you know, hey, I know I, this looks familiar to me as, as, a, as a 15, 16, 17 year old. Um, makes sense on how I would click through to, to sell a ticket to somebody or book a birthday party. And it's, it's well done, guys. One of our favorite things, especially on that online or the, the interface there in the store, is that when somebody comes in, if they've purchased a ticket online, we can have them in, in the door or through the door in under 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's our goal every time is we want that person, if they've booked online, if they've already done some of the, the work ahead of time, we want their experience to be lightning fast. Uh, and you just don't get that with other softwares. They haven't designed it from that perspective of trying to make the process just go quickly. Mm-hmm. So you avoid lines, you avoid all sorts of, of bottlenecks that create customer dissatisfaction from the outset. And you want to start off with a great customer experience from moment number one in, that, in the store or even moment number one online. Yeah. And that's what we deliver. Yeah. And as, a, as an operator, we don't always think of our point of sale system as a customer service uh, piece of software or equipment, but it's significantly a piece of that, you know, especially as you're driving traffic through the ease of use on the web, uh, the ease of processing through once you're walking your doors, all that is super, super important. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, second question would be uh, around, around cost. You know, I've, I've already kind of, I'm in with, with my current provider, you know, what would it cost me to, to make that switch to, to activate? Again, yeah. a great question. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 you just bring it up right at the front, um, you know, makes it easier on us. Um, so yeah, it, the, the cost of our software is, is similar to what you're going to be paying with other softwares in the industry. Um, we do pride ourselves on um, not having extra added fees for, you know, different stations, um, no online transaction fees, anything like that. Um, we recently actually um, just uh, pushed out an, a, a new program where we actually have a tiered program um, with an essential plan, an enhanced plan, a pro plan, and even a pro uh, plus plan with, uh, with an account manager that's attached to it. And, um, and for trampoline parks, those, uh, the, the software starts around um, the five, $599 ish um, area for our, for our um, essential plan. And then it's between you know, $600 to $800 for um, to get up to that pro plan. That's great. Yeah. So, uh, you know, comparable costs, um, perhaps even savings. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that at the end, but we have an offer, um, for listeners, um, to make it even easier, <laughs> uh, so and I more want, economical to, uh, I don't want to steal any of your thunder there. Yeah, and yeah, the we'll, offer we'll you're going to make, so I stay away from the <laughs> offer and just gotta make people stay tuned. You got to stay at the end to listen. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. I, at this point we've got them hooked now. Cause they're going to wait till the end to see what the offer is that they get. Yeah. That's right. Like there's, there's no going away now. You got to stay through the whole podcast. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so if, if I make the switch to activate is, is there, is there a way that, that activate helps me as an operator sell more, make more, be more profitable? Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's one of the things that if you're looking at software and you're only looking at what it costs you, you're doing yourself a disservice. Uh, and so we try to maintain ourselves as competitive, competitively priced so that you're not having to pay an exorbitant fee or anything like that to get into the software. We want it to be reasonable. We want it to be in in line with our competitors. But what we've noticed with our customers is that uh, we've done case studies where top line revenue has gone up by five or 6% just by switching to activate. And there's a lot of features built in to help you make more money uh, and to help your customers, you know, spend more money. And so there's a number of features built in our self-service kiosk makes it easier to go buy tickets uh, if I'm already in the park and I don't want to wait in line again to very quickly go back up and add on, uh, add things on there. Uh, we have things uh, like running a tab. Uh, you have the ability when you go into the park to open a tab. And that way, when you go to the concession stand, you've got a card on file and you just walk up and use it. Uh, we have a feature coming out here very soon that will allow you to store that card uh, on a long-term basis and use what we call allowances. Uh, and so you can give your kids an allowance and so if they're there by themselves, they can use that card on file up to a certain amount that you've preset on the account. Uh, so there's all sorts of things we do to try and help you to make money. Uh, upsells along the way, both online and in store, 
uh, prompting your employees if you want them to. Kind of like at McDonald's, you walk in, you get a, a number one, you want to supersize that. We can prompt your employees to say the same thing. You bought a, a hot dog, you want to drink with that? Uh, and it, it, not just waiting for a 16-year-old to remember to say that, but actually having the system prompt them to say that. Uh, so there's a number of different things that we do all throughout the system to try and help drive revenue. But the number one thing is actually the ease of use of the software. Our online uh, process for purchasing tickets, we see a 3x improvement over our competitors in how many people purchase online. Mm -hmm. And that online sales, a lot of people think, you know, if I don't sell it online, I'll sell it in the store. And that's, it's a fallacy. You, you don't always, sometimes they do, but many times they're looking, a customer that goes online wants to buy online. And if you don't give them that option to buy and it's not easy to get through and to, and to finish, you may lose that sale. And, and it's important to have a system that takes that online perspective and, and really drives it home the right way. Fantastic. Yeah. I, what was that percentage you said that you're, uh, you're, you're in the case study, it was, I think it was, the case study we did was like 4.9% was the yeah. top line revenue increase. Yeah. And so exactly. it's, it's a huge improvement. Good number. Uh, mm -hmm. I know during COVID, you know, 5% is not what 5% used to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But 5% but, uh, is still 5%. Yeah. 5 still 5%. Yeah. And yeah. I think in the example we were looking at, I mean, that represented, you know, close to a hundred thousand dollars a year in extra revenue per park. Yeah. Uh, and most, most operators who say, Hey, what would you do with an extra hundred grand? most of that goes straight to the bottom line. That's yeah. not something, I mean, yeah, there's some additional costs, but not tons of extra costs. That's right. And so that's mostly profit there. And for yeah. most operators, if you can add a hundred thousand dollars in profit to their business, who cares what the price is? That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But again, we try not to, you know, we're not gouging or anything, but sure. the more important yeah. thing is how do I make money with this? How do I make it? How do I have it help me make more money? Yeah. So one of the, uh, the biggest upfront costs typically in a, in a provider uh, like yours would be um, hardware. So, you know, if, if I switch to activate, does that, do I need to go get new hardware? What's, what's that setup look like? Yeah. So um, that's actually one of the, the key features that we really like, and it makes it easier on us too, is um, we don't require you to buy hardware through us. Um, we do have hardware options um, that, um, uh, that we do sell, but if you have um, computers that are, you know, five, five years older or newer, um, you don't need to switch over. Um, the only thing that we do require is, you know, we require a decent internet speed and decent being, you know, 50 megs or better, which is really standard nowadays. Um, and then we require it to be a Windows machine. So if you have Windows machines laying around, um, it could be a laptop, it could be um, an old desktop that you have um, that's, you know, like I said, you know, five, five years old. We have some out there that are six, seven, eight years old, but um, we just don't guarantee that those are going to be as fast. Um, and uh, so, yeah, well, that's something, again, that, that's great is that uh, you can use what you already have laying around and uh, you don't have to add that to your, um, your startup costs. And then it, down the road, if you want, hey, I want a little faster machine, then great, we can, we can sell it to you or we can help you find something that would work for you. Yeah. So uh, we didn't talk about this early, earlier, and uh, I just think it's important right now. So you are a cloud-based system, not a server-based system. Right. That's yeah. correct. So you're you're you said you have to be window based. So you're not totally hardware agnostic. So I'm not going to be able to put this up on <laughs> Pro. But uh, from a from a Windows standpoint, um, again, you know, the, the newer uh, the faster is going to be as far as your you know your, your experience once you're in the park for your for your team members. Um, but uh, another important aspect I think that is is worth noting is that you're not paying for per unit licensing fee. Yeah, correct. You know, yeah, so, correct. you know, if you've got four managers and they're all four managers are on their laptops at the same time, downloading information or looking into reports or whatever they're doing, and you've got six point of sales and three waivers going and, and, and a cafe, you know, that's the same as having three, you know? So I, I just think yeah. that's a great point to yeah, absolutely. And it, and it makes so that uh, the software is not holding you back from, hey, I can probably speed up my front desk or I can speed up my, my cafe if I add another station um, and not saying, well, I don't want to spend you know, X amount of dollars per month to add another station. Mm -hmm. um, and I do want to mention that uh, that they're, um, all the, the window stuff is uh, mostly for our, our registered stations. So anything that is taking cash. But if you wanted to have um, you know, table side check-in, which is something we really like um, 
you know, in the parts that we've seen is um, you can actually use a, an iPad um, and you can take an iPad out there. So, um, and same for waivers, you can have an iPad for your waivers or a, you know, Surface Pro tablet or whatever, um, you know, again, that you might have laying around or you want to purchase. Um, it's just for any station taking cash would need to be Windows. Okay. Anything else can be, um, you know, any real smart device. You can do it on your phone. Yeah, great uh, clarification. Yeah. yeah. Which is the beauty of being a, a cloud-based system. So that's- Absolutely, okay. yeah. Yeah, I love that. I so think the, the number one thing we hear back from, uh, from employees that switch over from other systems, uh, specifically the, the party coordinators, uh, is that they're able to do their job from home. They can pull up their laptop and they're in the system. They don't have to worry about anything. They don't have to worry about bumping anybody off a system or you know, conflicting with anybody. It just it works uh, and it works from wherever they are. So if, if they left the park for the night and all of a sudden a call comes in to book a party, it's a bit of a double-edged sword because you can now do that from home if you want to. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's going to work just the same as if you were in the park. Uh, so it's really a, 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 unique, a unique experience for a lot of people that are going from a server-based to a, a web-based system. Right. And we had, um, with that same kind of idea, we've actually had people switch over to using, um, using a call center because they're on Activate, because now their, um, their customers can do a lot of that, um, uh, sorry, their employees can do a lot of that stuff from one single hub instead of having to um, have one, you know, one person in store booking all your parties. Mm-hmm. So um, again, the capabilities of the, um, of the uh, cloud-based uh, really does come in, come in handy for uh, operations. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so talk about uh, kind of the guest experience. So I'm, I'm, you know, we've talked a little bit about what the, the offerings are. So, um, you know, when a guest wants to, to um, engage with, with my park and purchase a ticket or book a party, what's their experience going to be like? Yeah, absolutely. That's, uh, again, something we started touching on uh, just a few minutes ago when we talked about the different options that we allow for and how that can help drive revenue for you. Uh, but from a guest experience, it gives the guest everything they need to do at their fingertips. Uh, one of the things that uh, you know uh, I hear from other systems is that they'll get calls from guests wanting to know, is my waiver still valid? Is, you know, I bought a ticket, but, uh, you know, can I, I, I don't remember what time I bought it for or some, you know, just stupid things that they can just very easily go find out for themselves. When you're an account-based system, I can go log into my account. I can see my waiver status. I can sign a new waiver. I can do all of that from my own phone if I want. Uh, I don't need to come and call you to find something out. Um, All the way through to when you think about a birthday party, uh, we actually have a a really unique birthday party process where once they've booked the party, they're going to get a confirmation email like most systems will do. Uh, But as part of that, uh, they actually get a link to send invites to their friends. And so I do know some of our competitors will offer an invite feature, which we have, you can send invites from the system or you can invite by link. And the reason we really like the invite by link feature for a birthday party is I can post that anywhere. I don't need to send it to your email. Uh, I love using myself as an example here. I'm, I'm a dad, I've got a four-year-old at home and uh, he talks about his friends from preschool all the time. If I had to get them invited to a party for him when he turns five, I would be lost. I literally just be like, I don't know what to do. Uh, And so with Activate, what it allows you to do is I can go to his preschool Facebook page and on his class's Facebook page, I can post a link and say, hey, for all the parents in class, the kids are invited. We're having a party over at the trampoline park. Here's the link. And when they click on it, they get this cool party invite that they can RSVP to. And as part of the RSVP, it's going to immediately prompt them to sign a waiver. And so when they show up, they will be assigned to a ticket in the party on the dashboard, ready to go. And it'll show they already have a waiver and there's literally nothing to do. And it made it simple for me. It made it simple for the park and we streamlined the whole process. And that's when we start thinking about customer experience, we're looking to try and remove any of those sharp edges around, you know, oh, it just was kind of clunky to get through the process that, yeah, I got the party booked, but then I didn't know who RSVP'd, which again, from our system, you can log in, see who's RSVP'd. I can't see all the details about who's RSVP'd, but I can see if they have a waiver or not. So if there's parents that haven't signed their waiver yet, but RSVP'd, because who knows why, even though the system prompted them to, they, they walked away. Yeah. Mom or dad at home can be proactive and reach out and be like, hey, make sure you have that waiver done before you show up. And so it really gives information to the, the customers, the parents, uh, to have a good experience at the park uh, and not just feel like they're, yeah, I got it booked, but I don't really know what happened after that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it takes some of the workload off of the, uh, uh, the party coordinators because the parents do have more information at their fingertips and they're not getting calls all the time 
about what's going on here. What's this, what's that, you know, how do I invite people? Has somebody RSVP, do they have waivers? It's all done for them in the account. I love that. And that, that does create a great and much more seamless customer experience. Uh, I mean, when you recognize that the birthday parties are such a significant percentage of your, your monthly revenues, making that process easier, which, you know, parties beget parties, um, mom see that, dad see that, and, and they're, they're willing to, to go ahead and book their child's party um, with your facility. Yeah, not only that, I mean, even if you go to like regular tickets, we have the, the ability, uh, say kind of like Facebook, but you can actually friend people on the system and then share tickets with your friends. Uh, and so an easy way to invite multiple people apart to come with you and to share those tickets and let them get all of their stuff done ahead of time, the waivers and mm -hmm. making sure they're prepared when they walk in the park so that their experience goes fast. Uh, again, we always want them to come through and just be having fun as soon as possible. Yeah. The longer they have to wait in line, the longer they have to sit there and, you know, in crowds or whatever else, that, that's not a good thing. You want them out and having fun. And that's where you're going to get a good customer experience. And that's what we're always going for. And you, you've got a kiosk behind you, Greg. Um, you. And, 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 and product placement there. That's right. And I think that's fantastic. <laughs> but, uh, you know, one of the cool technology things, I, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, is, is you have facial recognition in those. We so do have facial recognition I signed up and, you know, done my face scan once, you know, I come back in and it's got a little camera up at the top and, and it knows who I am. Absolutely. You walk up to a kiosk, you just... It basically asks, how do you want to, to come in today? And your facial recognition scans your face, you're good. Yeah. Uh, and it lets you right into your account. You do all sorts of things from there. I mean, there's other ways you can send yeah, a text course. message with a not code. Everyone's, you can, not everyone's cool with that. And that's not everybody's fine. cool, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, absolutely. It's a cool feature. Uh, we actually use facial recognition throughout the system, or at least give you the option to use facial recognition. You don't have to use it ever. Uh, but we give you the option to use it for things like, I want to check in. Uh, on a membership. We can actually look up your membership just by scanning your face. Mm -hmm. uh, the feature I mentioned earlier about the allowances, you can actually have a, a child, a 10 or 11 year old uh, can choose to use their face as their authentication to use a credit card. Mm -hmm. uh, we're one of the first systems in the world to do something like that, not just in the family entertainment industry. Uh, I was talking to our, a credit card processor friend of mine that uh, that was saying that's something that is on the cutting edge of, of everything in credit card processing. So we're pretty excited about it. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. And, yeah. and again, going just back to the, the topic that we're discussing right now, customer service and customer experience, um, hands down, super easy and seamless. So, Absolutely. That's yeah. what we're always going for. Yeah. Um, so let's, let's back up. Maybe we should have started here, but um, you know, let's, let's talk about the, the, you know, activate and the, the history of the, of you guys and your company, how long you've been around. Yeah, absolutely. Chris, did you want to take that? Um, yeah, I mean, so um, from from Activate's standpoint, um, you know, been around for just about five years now. And, um, you know, again, was built for, for trampoline parks, which I think is really key because I think that trampoline parks uniquely have a, um, are, are really built around the waiver process and liability. And so with that in mind, um, Activate was built um, and it was built to, to again, get people in the door faster because that was one of the biggest complaints prior to Activate, prior to software um, that was built for trampoline parks is we can't get in the door. What, what takes so long? Why do I have to sign a waiver? Why do I have to this paper waiver? Why do I, a lot of questions that were never answered. Um, and so um, again, five years ago, um, Activate was, was born from that. And um, has really built uh, built a reputation in the industry and um, and branched out to other industries, but again was um, really focused on the trampoline park. Um, personally, I um, I've been in the industry for 11 years. Um, I was uh, I was an operator as well for for tram um, multiple trampoline parks, and um, so I was a user of Activate. You know, I I chose Activate as as my my provider mm -hmm. and um because i viewed all everything else and i knew that there wasn't anything that was quite like activate um and you know with software you know software is one of those things that uh, people um people need and they just feel like this this 
um, that no matter what they they do, they're they're going to need this piece in in their in their business. And um, you need something that can kind of uh, touch a lot of different pieces of your business. It's not just a point of sale. It's not just a waiver system. It's not just a party booking system, right? It's an all in one. Yeah. Um, and again, prior to activate, it was well, I'm going to use this party booking system with this point of sale and this waiver system and you know and then you, know, you have all these things that kind of trying to talk to each other and um and so that was the reason that uh you know back five years ago um you know uh, we adopted activate and uh so yeah that's kind of uh my my history greg do you have anything to add yeah no i would just say that uh most everyone here at activate has an extensive history within the family entertainment industry uh most of us within the trampoline park industry specifically uh, so when we think about, uh, designing the system, when we think about improving the system, we usually think about it from how would this get used? Not just what feature to make. Uh, I actually remember having a conversation with Chris yesterday, just about that exact thing that how do we, you know, always focus on the user experience and not just the, the, the feature. Uh, and for a lot of software developers, they, they are software developers and they get focused on a feature. Mm -hmm. They don't think about how that feature gets used. Uh, and that's really from our background uh, and where we've come from. That's why we're so different. It's, it's just part of how the software works because we've designed it that way, because we know what it needs. Um, and, and not everybody can, can say that. Um, and, and so we're just, we're excited about where we're at. We've, years of experience in the industry with, with five years of, of the software being out there. Uh, but even more than that, with our, our combined knowledge and, and history working in the industry for longer than that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I think that's, um, sorry, um, just to add on to, to Greg's point, there's so many times when, um, you know, we'll talk to the developers and they're, they'll say something like, well, it's supposed to work like this. It's like, well, the trampoline park industry is a little unique, you know, it's a little bit different than what you think. And so um, it is nice to have that, uh, that actual experience, um, you know, working with the system in a park, um, working with the managers and um, again, um, understanding what the, what the industry needs. Yeah, really need, needing to understand that end user, both from the team member and the customer side. And, and and, and got to be honest, that's what I latched onto when I when I saw it. I mean, I immediately got it. I'm like, oh my gosh, there is a better way. <laughs> and, uh, um, and and I just want to share it with the world, right? So you know, here we go. Let's uh, let's get out there. Uh, so talk a little bit about um, uh, kind of your your support system, and then what what's coming next uh, for Activate? What's in the future? Yeah, so I think that um, part of the um, I'll, I'll go with support, Greg, you can go with future. Um, All right, good. Yeah. So um, something again that, that kind of um, uh, that we, we really enjoy about Activate is that we're continually innovating. Um, but that starts with our support team and our support team is so great. If you um, go read reviews online about Activate, um, our support team is what people remember. And that's a good thing, right? Um, people, unfortunately, software is one of those things that if you're remembered um, for something mostly it's something bad but with us we're remembered for for our support and it's because when um you need your hours changed or you want a new product or you're not sure like hey how are other people managing memberships what are some of the other stuff people are doing you call our support and they'll give you answers um they're live support they're based in texas um they're they're there seven days a week and so on a weekend you're you're struggling and you're, you're trying to figure out, you know, should I add another product? Do, do we need another special today? Do we need to put something on Facebook tonight to, to get more people in? Call our support. They'll be able to help you out that day. And um, that's something, again, that we really pride ourselves on. We really do feel that we are a partner with everybody, uh, all of our clients. Um, and we're a partner in this industry because their success is our success. And so we want to make sure we do everything we can to ensure they succeed. And Taking your, your second question or second part of that question about where are we going in the future? So obviously support, it's a fundamental thing we've got to you know build on. Um, from a feature set, we've kind of already talked a little bit about some of the things that are coming, a little bit about what we're doing that's a little more cutting edge. To expand upon that, just some of the things we've already done. Um, how about you know with, with kitchen management? Uh, you know, a lot of people use like buzzers and, and different you know, call out numbers. That's great. We have that feature built in, uh, but we actually just recently added in the ability uh, to text your customers when the food is ready. Mm. So you've got a large FEC. Uh, they may not want to stand there next to the, the cafe while their pizza is being made. They want to go out and play and, and jump on the trampoline. 
you know, they, they bought a, a, an hour long jump halfway through, they wanted to order the pizza, but then go back out and keep playing. Well, now they can keep playing with their kids. And when, when their pizza is ready, it texts them there and they come back and pick it up and they know to come okay. get it. You don't have to make a call over a loud, a loud trampoline park or a loud facility. Uh, and then have to carry around a buzzer in their hand, which nobody wants to do. Yeah. Uh, they can just put their phone in their pocket and walk away. It's, it's a great thing. Awesome. Uh, and so we're, we're always working on, on small features like that. You know, even facial recognition for us wasn't a huge feature. It's, it's incremental changes. Uh, so we're always looking at how do we make things just a little bit better, but then we're also looking at how do we make game change moves? Uh, and so we're, you know, don't want to give too much away, but looking at things like artificial intelligence and how do we incorporate uh, some of the, the features that are out there and available to use AI to help guide and deliver better, uh, better experience to a park and take some of the workload off of a manager by feeding them information versus them having to go look for it. And again, a little bit further away than some of the small features, but yeah. really cool features. And then really like longer term, like how do we just fundamentally change the industry of, of how people expect and what they expect of their software? Yeah, no, that's, that's great. Continuous improvement, continuous development, um, staying out there ahead of the curve is, is, is great. That's exciting. And, and, and good to know for someone who's considering a change. And so, so let, let, let's talk about, you know, someone who wants to change, you know, what, what's the, is there, is there a catch, you know, am I going to get in and find out that, Hey, yeah, you said, you know, 500 for something, you know, basic and 800 for pro, but I'm going to get in there and find out, well, no, there's actually a price per ticket or online fees, all that. What, what is, tell, talk to, talk to, talk to someone who would have those kind of questions. Yeah. So there really is no catch. Um, the, the base fee of, um, you know, five by five ninety nine for basic, um, up to eight ninety nine or sorry, seven ninety nine eight hundred dollars Those 99s always get me. Um, the, that, that pricing, um, is, is it right. That's your one monthly cost. Um, the only additional fee that, uh, we, we do charge is an onboarding fee and that's just to get you onto the system. Um, and that onboarding fee is either two months of service. If you wanted to just pay um, basically from the time you start up with us, um, you could pay two months of service or you can pay a one um, lump sum of um, $1,500, which will get you, um, you know, all set up. And again, we do the work. So um, that fee is allowing you to, um, to really sit back and let us put everything in there for you. We'll do all your party packages. Um, we will put in all of your products and your cafe items and um, all the pictures. We'll make sure that uh, your system's ready to go for you as soon as you're ready to launch. And we walk you through the process too and show you and train you and uh, make sure that you're up and um, ready to go. So what, what does that timing look like? You know, say I'm ready to, to do a December 1st, January 1st, and I'm ready to go. I'm not on contract anywhere and, and uh, would like to make a switch. How long does that take? Yeah, we, we generally say six to eight weeks, um, but we can do it a lot faster. Um, there is um, some back and forth with, um, with the new clients of, you know, what do you want in the system? And some clients take, you know, four to six weeks themselves just to figure out what they want to do. Um, but uh, specifically for established parks that already have their pricing established, they already have their party packages established. Um, you know, we can do it in as little as four weeks. Um, if, um, again, if, the, the park gets us all the information we need and we go and put it in and we can get you up and going. I think our, our record right now for how fast we can get somebody up. And this is every party package, every product in the cafe, um, all the ticketing online in store, everything. I think we did it in four days. Uh, <laughs> very intensive process. Cause we need a lot of information <laughs> from you in a yeah. short period of time. Um, but we can go fast. We don't recommend that. Most people don't want to do that. Uh, yeah. They want to take a little bit more measured approach. Uh, and so, yeah, what, what Chris said there of, you know, six to eight weeks, I usually say four to six, but somewhere in that range. And it usually just takes time because we want to do a kickoff. We want to talk about what your needs are, what you're trying to accomplish, what products do you have? Uh, and we start doing the setup and then showing you, okay, this is it set up in the system and doing just a couple rounds of feedback and, and iteration to make sure that it's really set up the way that you want. And as Chris mentioned, with our onboarding fee, we do it all for you. This isn't something where you have to pay this upfront fee and it's just some startup cost that doesn't deliver value. We're yeah. literally going in and assigning one of our resources to go set up your system for you. And they're an assigned dedicated resource until you go live. Uh, and so it, it really does make a very smooth, easy transition. 
And when we actually do the cutover where you switch from your old system to our system, that's after we've done all the setup and we've done the testing to make sure you're happy with where it's at. Uh, from there, we cut it over and it usually is, you know, one hour uh, to do the switch over and we do it in a time where you're not busy or not open at all. Right. Uh, so in the morning, in the evening, uh, we'll switch everything over, switch your website over and you're on to activate. Yeah. And then the only other thing on top of that is something we offer. It's not something you have to do is an on um, an on site fee. Um, which allows us to come out and actually be at your park when you, when you go live. And um, that fee basically just covers travel. There's not, you know, we're not making a ton of money out of it, but we like to be there. We like to be you know, part of that launching process. We get excited about it. And so it's a, uh, it's a lot better if we're in, in person seeing, um, uh, seeing your excitement, you know, it's, it's so cool to go on site and be you know, watching people like, Oh, this is cool. Oh, did you see this? And they're, they're showing their other <laughs> staff members and I enjoy that. And so I always try to push for that one just because I like being there. Yeah. Um, and uh, that fee is, uh, is 1500 for, uh, for two days of training. Okay. That's awesome. Well, um, so for fun spot listeners, right. For listeners of the podcast and, and, and fun spot customers, we want to make that transition even easier. And so we've worked with, with Greg and Chris and, and have come up with, with an offer where, where FunSpot will pick up two months and Activate is kicking in the third month. So basically your first three months of uh, subscription are taken care of. So by the time you get your onboarding and you go, you're not going to get another bill for three months. And um, to use that and make that transition time really easy. So we've created a landing page for that. Um, that we'll put the link in the show notes and, and promote in the email that uh, advertises this podcast. And, um, you know, it's a limited on time offer. It's not something we can keep going um, in perpetuity, but we want to, uh, to really, during this time right now where some parks still aren't open, um, you know, and, and if we were to make the transition, you're not going to get charged, um, you know, until you do open, right? And, um, and so we just want to make it easy for uh, for listeners and and Funspot customers to to make this transition, and so uh, I know Chris and Greg both are, are available, and we'll have their contact information as well in the show notes. But uh, a link to all the information that you would need uh, to make that decision, and uh, I'm happy to, as well as anyone from my team, answer any questions uh, that you might have around what it would mean to uh, to make this transition. Yeah, definitely. And we're, we're also here just to, to answer questions too. If you're not sure if you want a demo, but you have some questions about the software, just you know, let us know. And we're, we're happy to help you. Like I said, from the minute that you do a demo or even just contact us, we treat you like a partner and um, you know, we really do just want to work with you and uh, you know, talk you through some stuff and um, would love that opportunity. Yeah. I went, you know, I, I opened uh, the, the episode with, you know, we are looking for, you know, world-class vendor partners. And, and, and I think you just hit it on the head, Greg, just, you know, we have similar values and that's why, you know, our partnership makes so much sense. Um, we're customer focused. Uh, we really just want to help, um, you know, we're in business um, and as a business, we need to make money to survive. But uh, at the end of the day, we're, we're pulling together uh, for our industry uh, and for our customers. Yeah, that's great. Absolutely. Yeah. We're excited about the partnership with you guys. Uh, you know, like you said, we do share similar values and, and that's a, a great partnership and, and we're glad to be able to help your customers out and to be able to, you know, come together with you to make them an offer to, to use Activate. Uh, obviously that shows a lot about you as a company that you're, you're willing to help uh, your customers that, have, you know, maybe built with you years in the past yep. uh, to get a, a great offer to come on to uh, a great software system. Mm -hmm. So great. Well, uh, as we wrap up, uh, Chris, any kind of last minute comments? No, I, like I said, I, you know, I appreciate the time from you, Scott, and, um, you know, the partnership with FunSpot is just uh, something we're really excited about. You know, we love being integrated and, um, you know, just part of this industry and um, to, you know, further that partnership with you is just, um, it's exciting and we're looking forward to it and uh, to, to know, you know, we know that uh, you love your customers and so we're, we're looking forward to, to sharing that love. Yeah. All right, Greg, any last minute comments? No, I, I think I think we've got it all, but I, I appreciate again the time to to be here today and to be able to share a little bit about our our software and, and what it can do for for your customers. And like Chris said, to share that love. That's yeah. great. That's great. Well, I just want to thank uh, those of you who are listening for uh, taking the time once again uh, to uh, download, uh, subscribe on on Apple or Spotify, um, or listen at uh, townhall.funspot.com and you can see our lovely faces. Um, but. Uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Appreciate your time. And uh, we'll have all the information in our show notes and in a future email 
on how people can uh, get a demo and, and answer any questions that you guys, they might have with you guys. So thanks so much. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks.